Well, good evening everybody and we are back after the short little break between games. It is Racing Series F1, Social Race Test 1 around Barcelona tonight. Host this evening for your commentary stream is RSF Wykenen and tonight I am joined by the new commentator for Season 3, Hammer Time Carl. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hello. Good, good, good. Actually, uh, everyone, just so you know that me and Carl do live up the road from each other, so I might do a little bit of a prank sometime if we're on together. You never know. Right, uh, Carl. Yes. Thoughts of the new game? Yeah, um, I definitely think it's an improvement on last year. There's still a lot of things they need to sort. Um, mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people who are who are very quick on this game. I'm still finding my feet a bit, really. Um, not as consistent as I was in 2019, um, but generally overall, I'm quite impressed with with the graphics and the handler model. Um, yeah. 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 I think it's uh, definitely a step forward. They just just need to fix these few issues, and hopefully we'll be there. I've had a lot of fun in the Schumacher cars so far, and. Various different uh, liveries and bits and bobs, so it's been quite exciting. Yeah, the my team bit is uh, it's definitely a uh, yeah, that's a good challenge. That is, I'm really that's, enjoying that. That's part. a brand new element to the game, isn't it? I've, I must yep. admit, I've not really dived much into the my team bit because I am a week behind everyone on the game due to being away at work for the whole week last week. Um, so um, yeah, so it's, still, it's a like, really good uh, in day two of the yeah, game. Yeah, so it's really good. Because you get to like run all your R and D departments, so like downforce, engine, chassis, durability, everything. You get to run the whole thing. It's it's really an eye opener into what it actually takes to run a Formula One team uh, to a certain degree. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So that's, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying that part of it. Um, yeah. But yeah. What about you? How you found it so far? Uh, from what I have felt of the game so far, it does feel so much better with the um, with the handling model of everything. It just it's more alive. You can attack the corner more. It's yeah. bit, it's reminded me a bit more of 2018. Although when when I played 2018, I was on the um, pad, so I didn't really feel the benefits of it on the wheel when I when I went on to the yeah. 2019. Yeah. Uh, so like to just be able to attack the corner so much more. In, in actual corner like turn three around this track flat out in like in 2019 you couldn't do it there was no yeah, way turn, you had to uh, lift turn nine is flat out as well now which is good yeah um if you've got the right setup for it it does get it it you do feel it a little bit slip um go but it doesn't actually slip like it did do in 2019 right okay first car is out on track now who is this Right, we have got a full lobby as well tonight, guys. This is epic because it's nice to have a full lobby on the first social race for Racing Series F1 on F1 2020. And I'm hoping we do get the viewers for it as well. Um, right, so Cosmic Cameron is out in Moronic. Oh, there's a few people commenting in the stream. Uh, Verstappen and Vettel. Oh, you're so strong, boy. I want to see the fast <laughs> racing. <laughs> Super strong. <laughs> Oh, Carl, stop it. I want to see some fast performances. Well, as you know, one does like to have a good race of one evening. So let's yes. see what talent we have out there on on, on the track. Uh, it's now time to see who are the biggest winners and who are the biggest losers. Um, from what um, eyes have been, what I've been watching as well from other drivers like um, NTTs on my friends list and everything, there's yep. some really, really surprisingly faster drivers all of a sudden. Yep. Yep. It definitely is. Definitely agree with that. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do a lot of racing guys, moves. Also... Sort of... Oh, carry on, mate. Sorry. Go on. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, right, guys, out in the stream. Also, give us your feedback on the game, how you feel about it as well. You know, we do like to have a conversation up there with the audience. So far, already, we have got 28 viewers. So, yeah, thank you very um, much. Try and get that up as many as we can. First, sort of, like they say, says, first social race of the season. So, try and get as many people in as we can um, and have a good time, really. Right, okay. So, right. Have you had a go in every car on this game yet? The only car I haven't had a go in on this game is the Renault, but I've been in everything else. It's the Renault. 
Yeah. Okay. That's the only thing I have right, been okay. so far. I've been in the Merc, the Ferrari, the Red Bull, the McLaren, and the Alpha Tauri. They're the only cars that I've managed to have a go in at the moment. Right. Okay. My thoughts on the Merc: It's a great car. Uh, yep. I have to admit it. It's an absolute epic car. I went around because obviously. You got you lot had the fast Ferrari for two days or something, didn't you? We did, yeah. Based on last year's performance. <laughs> yes, we did. And um, I missed out on this bit, and I'm really gutted about it as well. So anyway, um, I went round Monza first, first, first oh, attempt, straight on, bang on track that I know, Monza. Um, oh, hang on, what are we going to say? Moronix is coming round now in the Red Bull. Peanuts just had a bit of an accident on his, on his first lap. Had a spin just before oh, turn nine. Got a bit of damage, so hopefully he can make it back to the pits. Mm. So we're seeing one sixteens already. So that's yeah. a major improvement in Q1 as well. That's a major improvement. And like these are like Grant yeah. catastrophe was an F4 uh, was Division Four last season. Moronix was three, I think, or was he? Di uh, no, was he one? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, that was last. That was last season. There, there's a few uh, people yeah, who so surprised me with their pace this year. Uh, Grunt is very quick. RSF1 Falcon is very quick. Uh, and RSF1 mm -hmm. Cash is very quick. I think Cash uh, and Kachow as well. I think Kachow and Cash could definitely be Formula 1. Uh, I think Falcon could even be F2. He's got some serious pace on this game. Really has. The couple of social races mm. that I've done with them guys is just... The pace is just unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, I don't really I feel like my pace has changed that much, really. I feel like I'm fairly similar to last year, so I'm just trying to change my driving style a bit to adapt to the new, new oh, handle model. Brundle! Brundle! What's happened to him? Oh dear. Oh, I think he might just be slowing down and let someone pass, mate. No, that back end oh, looks did he very was... loose. I think he's gone off. He had, a bit, was, off he had a bit of a wobble, did he? Bit. Let's have a look. Right, so... TV pod. Okay. We've got uh, Hart Firma is off apparently according to Vertel. What Verstappen's put in the chat. Uh, oh, he's gone round again. Oh dear. He's not having a good time. We need to get back to the pits and get some new tyres on that. And then have another go. Oh, just bear with me a second, mate. I've got to take this. There is no crowd. Oh, pepper me! I think you're getting misled. I'm um, obviously in the game. They haven't really um, taken into um, situation of the COVID-19 pandemic. The game is unrealistic. That is true at the moment in current times. Talking about what are you talking about, Patronus? There, right? Okay, so and enough about talking, let's just see who we got out there on the flying lap right now. So, there's Peanut, looks like he is actually going for it. Let's ride on board now as he comes through now. Turn four. Sorry about that, chaps. That's important work. All I had to take that. Uh, okay, no right, RSF on Patronus has put. Uh, you can make the screen look more clearer if you go into if you go into settings and go to the OSD custom. And more stuff about like the timing boards to the very top left. Right, okay. It's quite handy to know. Okay. So let's let me try that. So if you go into if you do that on your screen, I'm not going to interrupt the stream too much. I think we've got. Yeah, um, yeah. I'll just have a look. See what I can moment. do on here. So OSD. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. He's got his rear camera in the middle of the lap. Right, okay. Virtual rear view mirror on. First customization. 
Ah, oh, that wouldn't let me go into that for some reason, Patronus. Thank you for uh, bringing that to our attention, but it wouldn't let me in there for some reason. Mm. Don't know why it wouldn't let me go into that. There's obviously some other options available this year. Yeah. Uh, depending on obviously circumstances beyond my control, but I cannot get in there to to do any customization. I don't understand why. Ah, oh, it must just be if you're racing these put right, okay. I'm interested to watch this person now. We are on board with Dyslexic. He's red for he's got car number sixteen at the moment, so he's Dyslexic's in the, in the Ferrari, okay, Let's. here we go. He's in the Ferrari. Right, okay guys, we're riding on board now. We've synced dyslexic now. So up start finish right. He's the OS is wide open, he's gone wide into turn one, turn turn one and two. Very nicely there riding on the apex. Oh he's just got oh, a little bit wide there as well. Tried to open turn one and two up as much as he could and just just keep a little bit too much yeah. on the exit. Yeah. So Cosmic Cameron. Uh, Cosmic Cameron, I think, is currently on a lap. He's just coming in at the last chicane now. In the Alpha Tari. Yeah, now on board with him. Do you must admit that Alpha Tari is good bit. this season. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. Just, just had a little bit of slip coming out that, that chicane there. Just a little bit of slip on the wheel. So it's a 118.7. We have missed it, unfortunately, though. Pigeon Muncher set a 115.1. 1. 15.1, 1, wow. <laughs> He's so, so strong. I think eight. IGN Legends is on a lap as well. Certainly seems to be pushing hard. Right, let's have a look. IGN Legends. Round turn nine. Absolutely flat. That's something I really like about this year's game is that you can go flat around turn nine as well. That's that's mm. such a fun turn to go around flat out. That really is. You know, you really feel the the ultimate mechanical grip from the car as you go around there flat out. Really do you really can feel it, and and even more so yeah. through the wheel as well. You can really feel the the mechanical grip. Yeah, absolutely. It's like it, it just feels so much more. He's now come round. He doesn't one fifteen eight. One fifteen eight, yeah, it's doing through. So yeah, I think uh his time there. Is uh yes, RSF one Vettel had done a flying lap. Oh super. He's going so fast. <laughs> Vettel is on a flying lap. I think he might have pulled out that. Down, yeah, he's, I think he's pulled out. He might have run a little bit too far into the chicane there. Hmm. Yeah, I Williams keep hearing the um, audience. Are you hearing the audience clap quite loudly as well in your in your? Seem audio? to be, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I might. Oh, oh Vettel's gone Vettel's round. Vettel's just spun <laughs> round. <laughs> well, Vettel. hang on. That is realistic in their real, real life. Ah, oh, Vettel, my friend. What happened? Got out the way nicely though for everybody else coming through. So now we've got. Brundle on a flying lap. <laughs> Look at this, he just done a Vettel as well in the pit lane. He's just literally overtook someone in the pit lane. What so is he doing? Brundle on a flying Brundle's just finished a flying lap by the looks of it. So he's done a 1.16.9. It's a bad. nice time. Dyslexic on his firm is just set a 1.15.7, so he looks like um, up there on the pace as well. We've got Snod on a lap here in the McLaren. Snod. He's now coming into the uh, sort of turn 12, 13. Just at the last chicane now here as we... Uh, oh, he's hit the inside. Oh. Oh, stay away from them. That's one thing about Spain they are I lethal. do not like. They, they are, are horrible. If you hit them, you're going straight to the scene of the accident. If you he hit them, I... If you but hit yeah, them, that's 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 that is a case there. of straight to the scene in the accident, that one is. The talent will soon disappear if you hit one of them. Yeah. Uh, I think we've got RSF1 right. Albon on a lap now, in the Haas. In the Haas, as everyone likes to call it. <laughs> <laughs> right, just bear with me, guys. I, it is the first race of the game. Of, of no, come on, five, nothing, so six. I am just now looking at the audio options.
No, okay, fair enough. It doesn't help me there. Pigeon left the competition no, without ever tells put in the chat. Alright, <laughs> well, so here we go. Uh, Albon's now coming up to turn 11, 12 through the corners. Coming up to turn 13 just to join the last chicane here. Finish the lap off, stay away from them horrible yellow curbs. Mm -hmm. Awesome it's, racing scene. It's nice and strong. Oh, he's got that. a little bit of slip there. But he's now come through the final turn. Down the front straight. DRS open. Any DRS left or ERS left and blow it. Uh, yeah. And he's gone at 1180. Seems to be a few people retiring for, from Q1. I think they're happy with their time. Yeah. Mattel. Uh, Sim Racing has retired, but I don't know if he's decided to not run or if he's decided that. I think yeah, Pigeon Munch is out on another run. He is. Pigeon Munch is out on another run. He's going to try and improve on his time. Right, okay. So he's now coming through turns two, about one and two. Let's run and board as he comes Come flat turn out of turn three. three right now. Takes the inside line, goes wide up there, then for turn four. Very nicely done. That's the fastest. It's a purple sector one there already. So he, he's improving yeah. on his time. Down into turn five. Oh, oh he's a little bit lock up on the inside there. But has he lost time? That is the question. Has he managed to keep the momentum as he comes up now? Turn six and seven. Six, seven. Uh, yeah, he's lost time. He's pulled oh, out. Oh, he's backed out. Backed out. That's a shame. That could have been a good lap. That could. I think we've got Moronix yeah. on the lap as well in the Red Bull. Yeah, the DRS is open. Yeah, he's flying. Driving on board, so he's coming through. He's now coming through turn ten and eleven. Into turn twelve, around the top of the hill. He's a little bit curved on the outside yet. Open up turn 12, open up turn 13. Into the last chicane. Stay away from those horrible yellow curbs. Straight on the power. A little bit wide down the exit. A little bit wide to maximise the traction. That's 115.6. That's a good lap time. Yeah. I think Pigeon Munch is winding up for another one. If you want to go on board with him, mate. Pigeon Munch. Yep. Yes, he in is. The he's now on the flying lap now in the Mercedes up turn one and two now. Very nice. Oh, he's invalidated. He took too much on the inside of turn two. Oh, no. We've got IGN, Lens co Ed bleh, bleh, bleh. IGN Legends coming out for another lap. We've also got the Alpha Tori on another lap. Uh, Cosmic Cameron round turn two into turn three. Flat all the way through. Stay off the grass. Oh, he had to lift a little bit there from turn three, just got too much of the grass on the inside. So, the first time and beam. It's not purple, but he's uh, he's certainly given it all he can. Round into turn five. Try and use as much of the track there as you can. Could have used a little bit more on the kerb there. So, turn six and seven up the hill. Oh, it back and just steps out a little bit. Round turn nine. Oh, he's let off at turn nine as well. DRS open to come down the straight. Into turn 10. Maybe she went up the third gear there to get a slightly better traction. He's wide in 12 as well. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's got a wide in 12. Oh, he's hit the yellow curb as well. Oh, that's going to ruin the whole lap. Oh, no. Oh, we've got dyslexic on an outlap as well. I wonder yeah. if he's going to have one more practice run before he goes into Q2. Give it another bash, see if he can get anywhere near that 15-1 from Pigeon Munch. Be interesting to see now, won't it? Current F1 Division 1 champion. Is he going to put on a show for everyone? So we've got RSF1 Maniacs now coming back into the pits. Easton, I think, is on a lap. Well, he's on an outlap, maybe. He hasn't opened the DRS if he is on a time lap, so... Well, I can tell you one thing now. We're on board with um, Dyslexic now. He's warming up his tyres. This is Tubbs now the final corner to start his last flying lap of Q1. So he's down start, finished straight. DRS wide open. He wants the maximum speed down this straight. 200 miles an hour plus. Go wide to turn one. Don't take to go. Don't ride the apex on turn two too much, otherwise you will invalidate up turn three. Flat out in this Ferrari as well. Go wide on the exit as well. Take a little bit of the outside of the track on the apex. Wide out to turn four. Take it on, take it tightly. Let yourself go out again. Hard on the power. 
a little bit of apex there, down into second gear to the next corner. A little bit of lock up there, but yeah, always gone wide and has it no, he's managed to keep the lap valid. He's still going to keep his foot in it and keep going. Up the chicane now and up the hill. Will the back end step out flat out through here? A little bit of lift there from the Ferrari. DRS open again. Not hard breaking now, just at 75 metres into second, first gear, second gear, up the hill again. Will he go from flat out or will he lift up? Very nicely there. Down into third gear, gone a little bit wide, but can recover on the exit on that one. Down the hill, a little bit on the sausage curve, but does recover it. Oh, he's gone wide there, and it's unfortunate he's aborted the lap. Oh, what a lap from Peanut. He's just improved from P17 to P7 with 116.2. Nice. Easton's coming around as well. He's got the fastest sector two. Can he make this lap count? He's now coming through the final chicane. Careful with the traction there, Easton. Yeah, beautifully on power through the last turn. Open the DRS across the line. Oh, and he improves to P3 with a 115.7. Nice. What a lap. Very nice there from Easton. What a lap, Easton. So strong, Easton. Well, that was impressive for Q1. Yeah, it's good Q1, so... There's some good times out there as well. Mm. Good times out there for this first session. Right, okay, ladies and gentlemen, out of Q1 for the first social race is CCRL Jake. RSF on Stretch, RSF on Albon, Cosmic Cameron and Sim Racing, who I believe had a crash at turn six, which we missed unfortunately. Right. Okay. Been... Uh, yeah, so that would have been the first meme of the season, perhaps. <laughs> Never mind, we will catch one very soon, no doubt. Wow. One yeah, fifteen some, uh, one four one in Q one. Look how I close am... it was for Brundle to go out in Q one letter. One ninety it's one sixteen nine one nine to one sixteen nine seven two. Mm. He was just about scraping through there. He'll, he'll need a better lap in Q2. That was awesome. Grunt's put right. ready to be Q it's... kicked out in Q2. No, Grunt, come on, you're faster than that. Strategy. You've got so much what speed, is it? Grunt. You're so fast. So, is everybody going to come out of the mediums, or is anybody going to try even the hard? I don't think that we'll see the hard, but... I might, we might the see the hard for some sighting laps. Maybe, yeah. But are they really going to be the race tyre? That's, that's the only thing, so... Mm. So we've got Brundle coming out, Vettel's coming out, Chow's coming out, Brunt's coming out, Dyslexic's coming out, Peanut's is out. Is it me, Ronix or is does out. it look duller in Spain? It does suddenly look very grey. Virgin Munch is out, IGN Legends is out, Easton's out. Everyone's coming out very, Everyone's very quickly. Everyone's out. The only people that aren't out currently is RSF on Maniac. Uh, and that's about There's it, really. I think he's the only person who's very, not very out quickly. at the moment. He must be saving up oh, for one yeah. run. Now, now, the issue with this mediums. is... Yeah, there's a mixture of, of what people think is going to be the right tyre, but the problem is now is going to be track space. So there's going to be a lot of people backing up as we get to the last sort of few corners, turn 10, 11, 12, 13. There's going to be a lot of people backing up, looking for a bit of space so they don't get affected by the car in front if there is a mistake. Um, but this is there's, there's too many people too close together, really. I know they're all keen to get out yeah. and bank a lap in, but... Too many yeah, I don't think this is a bank. I don't think this is a bank lap. Oh, it's raining! It's starting to rain. It's raining. It's raining. That's why they're getting oh, out. God, that's why everybody's trying to get out. Oh my God! Very fine <laughs> bits of rain. So who's going to be first? Oh, this is what we want. Mixed conditions. So it looks like the first this is a person first race. is RSF1 Maniac, it's the first one, or is he on an outlap? No, sorry, he's on an outlap, so I think Ozra is the first one on a flying lap in the Haas. Okay, let's get on board, because he's going to be the first one on a flying lap. Yes, so he Ozra's is. Ozra's going, going around on. on the mediums. Oh, 
Oof. Yeah, I think Oz is the first. The only person in front of Oz is RSF1 Maniac, and he's on an outlap. Yeah. And the thing is, as well, on this game as well, I was so, um, Patronus was just saying as well, I've not really had much um, racing experience on that one. Um, dirty air on this game is horrible. Right, OK. Probably due to the extra downforce that we weren't experiencing last year. Starting to come down yeah. a little bit heavy now. Is Ozza going to be the only one to really get a competitive time in here? This is going to be quite interesting to see for all the other people. I mean, it's still dry enough on track that you've, the traction is there. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what he puts in. 169 on mediums. 169. That's nice. So Brundle's now coming round. Brundle is... Sorry, Brundle's now going on lap. 116.5. 116.5. 116.6. 116 dead for Pigeon Munch. Grunt's one on 117.7. Uh, Snod's done at 118.2. I think Vettel must have had a mistake on his outlap because he came back in at the pits. So I don't really understand what happened there. Uh, Rhombus is putting a 118.9. I wonder if, if Ozza, uh, Ozza Brundle and, and Pigeon Munch had the best of the uh, conditions there. I mean, Kachow's putting a good time, 116.6. Mm. I wonder if these, these people at the back just left it a little bit too late. I wonder if it's just a little bit too wet now. Yeah. Be interesting to watch. The rain's still coming down. Ooh, I mean, Charles it's, out in the Williams. it's not hammering down. The track still looks dry, but Mattel's downshifting early through the corners there. I wonder if the grip is just starting to just just slide over to intermediate tyres, maybe slightly. Mm. Right, so here we go. I'm going to ride on board with Vettel for this lap. So come around the final corner, DRS open, down the main straight. Eighth gear, PRS in hot lap mode, flat out as fast as you can, going as wide as you can to open up turn one and two. Beautifully into turn one and two, the traction is nice around there. Can he go full round turn three? Whoa. No, he's dropped it. Oh, he's dropped no. it. No, no, he's lost his wing. So it is getting a bit too wet on track. It is getting too wet on track for these slick tyres. Oh, that's a real shame. Yeah. He was really winding up to a good lap there. He opened up turn one and two absolutely beautifully. Um, and, and just that was just obviously too wet in turn three to come round there. As soon as he came round there in turn three, it just the back end just slipped away from him. Just yeah. the traction just disappeared. Um, Dyslexic only done a 117. Uh, Dyslexic only done a 117.8. Peanuts done a 118.0, Snod on a 118.2, RSF on Maniac on a 118.7, and Rhombus on a 118.9. I wonder if Fatel's going to choose to not not sit the rest of the session because it's too it's too oh, wet what for are him. You doing? To, I wonder if it's too wet for him to make an impression now on the rest of them. Grunt's retired from the session, so. is that must mean he's happy with his lap. I think he's going to be pretty confident on that lap. Vettel's doing some donuts at the pit entry there to keep everybody entertained. Yes. Did see that one, but Brindy boys oh. out on a come out on softs. I think it's too wet, AJ. Ah, oh, Vettel. oh, Vettel's been disqualified from the session. From the session, oh no. I think it's too wet for these tyres. Even though they're soft and they're going to warm up quickly, I think you see him going to lose the temperature in them because he's just mm. not going as fast as he needs to to keep them tyres warm. I think it's I think it's too wet. I think he's left it too late, unfortunately. We'll see if he winds up for a lap. But I, I think I've got a feeling he's going to dive in at the pit lane. 
No, he is going yes. to wind up for a lap. The Here we go. Oh, the rain's coming down, so this is going to be interesting to watch. The DRS is open. He's going down the main straight here. So he's going as wide as he can, open up to turn one and two. Is he going to have the same problem as Vettel when he comes around here? There's going to be no grip for the car to grab hold of the track. He's very gingerly on the throttle out. through turn three. Oh, he's snap! Wide, no. Oh, snap! Snap over and he's invalidated. Yeah, it's, it's obviously got to the point where it's too wet now. Unfortunately, he's left yeah, it too Easton's late. Easton's coming out. I don't know if Easton thinks about trying the intermediates. Is so he just trying to get a sight lap in for, uh, for the next session? Or is it going to be very wet for the next session? Mm. That is the question. Yeah, Vettel, I, I saw that. Um, very unfortunate there, mate, to get disqualified. Yeah, Easton's come out to get a feel of the track by the looks of it. I will say the the grip level on the intermediate and the wet tyres on this game is is far improved from the last game. Um, on this sort yeah. of track surface, with the intermediate tyres, you'd be sliding about all over the place. But the grip on on the intermediates and the wets is is far superior to what it was on on 2019. I mean, I I hate driving okay. the wet. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't really enjoy it. But I've had a couple of five lappers and a couple of 25 percenters in the rain, and I'm I'm quite impressed with the grip that you get actually from the intermediate and wet yeah. tyres. So that's uh, that's definitely an improvement on last year's game. Yeah, I'm yet to have experience at any wet conditions. I, I think it's probably yeah, just yeah, obviously so. the extra downforce we're getting compared to last year's game is helping with the grip in the wet conditions as well. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, this like, um, is also isn't, uh, well, uh, in the latest patch that they've done, the 1.02, there was a 1.5% increase in downforce, wasn't there? I think so, yes. Yes, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, Easton, he's at the is chicane now. Is he going to try a flying lap? Yes, he is. He's going to go for it. I think he needs the experience, to be honest with you. He hasn't been on the game for long. I think he got the game Monday. So whether he's done no. any wet weather running or not, I don't know. But I, th I think he's probably using this as a little experience builder, get a little sight in on the on the intermediate, see what it's like. As you can see, though, the grip as he's as he's going around there, you know, it's it's just far superior to what it was in last year's game. It really is. Right on board of him as he finishes. Oh, Patronus has put in the chat on the next update. They're up in the downforce even more, so that'll be quite good to see. Uh, uh, all the yeah. steps, but it's already happened, right? Okay. I just haven't shown the patch notes, right? Okay, so that's handy to know. Thank you very much for dapping. So kind of you to put that in the chat. So <laughs> strong. Okay, so. Whoa! Oh, he's just got a slide. Ooh, he's he's just managed to get away with that. Ooh. Careful with that car, Easton. Careful with that car. He's got to oh, get you through Q3, Williams please. Be careful. Williams don't have that much money <laughs> to replace the car. No, that's it. Patronus has put patch 102 was just the Williams livery update. I, I don't think that's all it was, Patronus, because that was 16 gigabytes. That's a lot of memory for one car livery update. I think they've done a lot of work behind the scenes in the actual mechanics of the game. Yeah, took uh, the pace as well. away from the Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately for the Ferrari fans, yes. Um, having having myself and a, a couple of others changed our time zone to New Zealand on that uh, Tuesday night, on the Monday night, we were able to play the game early, uh, and the Ferrari was very quick on that first day to. Uh, to be able to uh, to use that as as quick as it was on the first couple of days was was good. So unfortunately, those who didn't do that have lost out. Mm. Yeah. Well, guys, that is Q2 over. So who is eliminated? It is Snod, Maniac, Rhombus, Brindy Boy, and RSF on Vitel obviously was disqualified from the session. So top ten is Peanut, Dyslexic, Catastrophe, Eastern, Legends, Moronix, Oza, Kachow, Brundle, and Pigeon Munch with that 116.014 on the medium tyres. That's impressive. 
Just bear with me a second. I'll be uh, I'll be back in a moment, mate. Okay, no problem. Okay, so it's heavier rain for Q3 as well, guys. For wet or intermediate conditions, it is now time to find out. Uh, it looks like at the moment everyone's sitting there on the intermediate in the inter intermediate tyres. Oh, this is going to mix the grid up big time. Um, people show different strengths and different conditions. Oh, someone's out already. Is that Easton out already? Cars are firing up right from the pit lane. Easton's coming out now. Legends, Pidgey Munch. Peanuts coming out as well. Just let us sit in the garage. Grant's coming out nice and early. He's made it into Q3. Looks like Oz has been the lucky one as well to get out on the track first, so nice clear track out in front of him so he'll be able to not have to worry about anyone holding him up or giving him dirty air. Um, that's one thing you don't want in wet, wet, wet weather conditions. Um, nice, clean, undisturbed air. I do like his helmet design there on his um, riding the house. It does suit it well. Okay, so on the lap there he's out and validated. Fantastic as well, out there. Well, both racing points out. Or should we now call them the chasing points, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, the Mercedes, 2019 Mercedes. So far, I'm impressed with the game's graphics. Yes, Junior. Pigeon definitely for F0.5, I reckon, to start off with. We need to start as the F0.5 league. Uh, so, um, yeah, division. Right, so Pid let's see what Pigeon Munch is going to do on the wet weather, shall we? He's topped the tables in both, se uh, both um, sessions so far, so I'm start finish straight. No DRS now, so it's wet weather conditions, so it's just going to be the pure grunt of the Mercedes power engine to get him through on his fast lap. Nicely done there, up through turn three. A little bit of lift there, looks like you can't do that flat out in the wet. Nice purple sector one there from Pigeon, turn four now, ooh, getting a little bit tail happy there. But doesn't lose too much time down into turns five now. Nicely done. Turn six. Up to turn seven and eight. Up the hill, up to turn nine. Yeah, you have to lift in this, these conditions as well. Oh, snap there, but he does recover it. It's faster sector two there, turn ten. Now up the hill. Evening, Revstar. Maybe she came out all over the sausage day. We would have lost time. Oh, 126.3. Very impressive. Oh, who's that out there? That is. What's happened there? More midfield teams should copy themselves a red ball would make things more closer, and you wouldn't want to copy Ferraris. Yeah, that's very true at the moment, Patronus. But then the idea of F1 is meant to be unique designs, which is the fastest. That's what I always say. Okay. Chow there's invalidated, but he's sitting one. He's sitting currently sitting fourth on the grid. 
So at the moment, guys, the provisional grid at the moment, apart from dyslexic, is now on our lap. He hasn't set a time yet. And Moronix as well. Are they out on track? Yeah, Moronix is out on a lap. Right, sorry about that. I'm back. Just had an okay. issue with children to sort out. Ah. Wonderful things they are, aren't they? Anyone oh. who's got children will know how delightful they can be. Pigeon with a 126 one there, so Pigeon is improving on the time that he said earlier. So Pigeon Munch is very much the man for pole. And oh, no, no, no! Absolutely fantastic lap. Who's gone round? Oh, dyslexic. I'm just riding on board with Brundle here on the, in the Renault. Just picked him up as he's come around the last few corners. So he's improved very slightly to 127.8. Yeah. Oh, 127.8, yeah. Easton's on, a, I think Easton's now building up to a lap. Okay, let's see Grunt on Easton's a lap as well, coming around turn nine. Oh, great grip round there. Wow, that, that went round there lovely, that did. Really, really gripped well round, coming around turn nine. It's got fantastic traction through turn 10 as well. That, Really got good traction, he's really got a good setup on that. Nicely done on the exit of that one now down the hill, will he step out? Ooh, nice. Got a little bit snaky coming out of the last mm. turn there. This comes around the final corner. Legends of a 126 dead. 127.3 there from Grunt. 127.3 from Grunt. Oh, OG and Legends. Wow. What a lap that was. What a lap. Looks like Pigeon Munch is going for another run. There's a little bit of a bottleneck here at the final chicane. I think Kachow is now building up for a lap in the Williams as well. Yeah, here we go. So we're going to Ooh, cross the start-finish line. Oh, Pigeon just went sideways then. Over we go. So, down the main straight with Kachow here in the Williams. Is it going to turn it out to just... No, it stays within the bounds of the track. Just to... thought it might just open it up a little bit, but staying off the kerbs just for that extra traction. Yeah, that's one thing in the wet weather conditions. You do not want to be riding the kerbs. Stay on the black stuff. Oh, he's a little bit wide by through two four. It's a little bit wide through four. Through five, nice, nice traction out of five. five. Yeah, nice traction out through six. Out through to seven and eight. Yeah, nice traction again, going up the hill. Turn nine. Yeah, he's got a nice, nice handle. Nice handle on that car. Yeah. It's a nice lap, really really uh, well controlled clean. lap, really clean, well controlled. Kept it nice and tight there, beautiful, Yeah, nice and tight beautiful. round 12, yeah, a little bit of curb on the exit. Round nice. 13, into the final chicane. Nice. He's in control, oh, well, he's got well control of this Williams. He, beautiful. He's got, yeah, nice, nice job there. Yeah, and that was P4, 169. Good lap, Kachow. Yeah, really good. Really uh, nice flow and lap there. There were no impatient, sort of... He wasn't impatient to get on the throttle. He was just... Just knew what he had to do. But they put a good lap he together He was feeling there. it. You could, you could see, yeah. you can tell he was feeling it as the car was really um, nice developing lap. around the track. Really nice lap he's put together there. Really nice lap. Yeah, oh, Grunt's a little bit wide there. in 10. 11, 12. Oh, oh. slide on there, Grunt. Oh. I wonder if he might just be a little bit hesitant here. Yeah, he's going to come out with pits. Yeah. yeah. So, I picked up Moronix. I think he's on a flyer. He's on an out. He's on an out, right, Peanut. okay, yep. Yeah. So Peanut's on a flyer, coming around turn three, into turn four. 
Yeah, just taking that extra gear for the traction. Yeah, and again, just changing up that extra gear. Get a bit more traction. Yeah, on an outlap. Is an outlap, Carl? Spin the rear wheels. What's that, peanut? Oh, peanut, sorry. I'm on with peanut, mate. Yeah, he's, you. he's going for it here. So, into turn 10. Ooh, yeah, good, good traction again. Oh, it's a little bit slippery in turn 11. Coming around turn 12. Looks like the child's happy with his time, he doesn't want to risk the car. So around the final corner, down the pit straight, can he improve? Yes, he goes 7 yeah, 27 3 Nice lap. Easton's on an outlap, so I'm just going to stay on board of Easton. Oz is current on the flyer, coming up to say, uh, turn 7 and 8 now, up the hill to turn 9. Yeah, yeah, I kind of. Patronus is put in the chat. More midfield teams should copy the Mercedes or Red Bull. Would make things a lot closer. Uh, and you wouldn't want to copy the Ferraris. <laughs> but no, I don't think anyone's going to do that this year. They seem to be having a poor start. I'd like to see them get back into it. You know, really, I don't we want think Ferrari will copy what they've done from last season. But I hate really, we want the three cars the up there: the Red Bull, the Mercedes, and the Ferrari. Uh, the racing point is very strong, strong as well this season. Um, well, it's because it's last year's Mercedes. Yeah, but then the Haas is last year's nice Ferrari, from the Alfa Tori is last year's Red Bull, so they're all doing it. The only teams that haven't really got that luxury is uh, is Williams and, uh, and McLaren and Renault. But everyone else is at it, so why not? If you can't beat them, join them, that's what they say. Alfa's a different design. Whose mic is cracking? Yeah. Don't know. It's a CM forums, right? Okay. Right. Okay. What sound? Are, what sound are we talking about, Revster? So, legends. And the sound is terrible, apparently. Crude, no? the sound is yeah, I can hear it. it's crackling quite badly. I think it's just the general stream. A cell phone, eh? Oh, is it? Yeah. I'd say we sound quite clear, to be honest, but there's a terrible. Terrible sort of cracking noise over the stream. Oh, yeah, I can hear it. I'm hearing it now in the background of your. Yeah. Strange. <laughs> you what, Patronus? But unplug your butt, my guy, AJ. <laughs> uh, I think he meant to put your mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on a second. I'll, I'll turn mine off and turn it back on again. So that's the end of Q3, folks. Uh, right, so we've got uh, IGN no, Legends from the Pigeon Munch. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, I was uh, 
just up in there. Hang on one second, let's just see if I can hear myself. Oh yeah. That's like a static feedback. It's horrible noise, whatever it is. Yeah, hang on. Right. Ace, we've got Grunt and Peanut. Uh -huh. Then P11, we've got Snod and the McLaren. Uh, Maniac and the Alpha Tori in P12. Dave Roberts and the Renault in 13. 14th, we've got Brindy. Uh, 15th, we've got RSF1 Vettel. 16th, we've got CCRL Jake. 17th is Stretch. 18th is Albon. Cosmic Cameron in 19th. And Sim Racing in 20th. Mmm. So we're now around on the formation lap. Did you want to run through everything on the formation lap, mate? I know you like doing this. Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen. First formation lap of the game. And I'll be apologise about the crackling noise. I don't know what it is at the moment. I've just played a little bit of settings, maybe. It might have improved it or not. I haven't got a clue. Okay, so in P20, Sim Racing 21 in the Alfa Romeo. Cosmic Camera 9 is in P19 in the Alfa Tauri. RSF1 Albon in the Haas in P18. RSF1 Stretch in the Mercedes sitting in P17. And then the CCRL Jake 97 in the Red Bull sitting in P16. 15th is RSF1 Vettel in Ferrari. Brindy Boy, 67 in the Alfa Romeo, is currently sitting 14. Days Rhombus in the Renault, sitting in P13, the unlucky number. RSF1 Maniac, sitting in P12 in the other Alfa Tauri. Snud Vod Budson, Bus 19 in the Alfa, uh, sorry, in the M McLaren, P11. WOR Pina in the Racing Point, Tracing Point in P10. Grand Tastrophe in the second Tracing Point as well, sitting in P9. RSF from Brandon, P8 in the Renault. Moronic, seventh in the Red Bull. Dyslexic is sixth in the Ferrari. Chow in the Williams, sitting in P5. Eastern in the Williams in P4. Ozza in P3 in the Haas. Mr. Pigeon Munch in P2 in the Mercedes and on pole position. It is a McLaren, guys, of IGN Legends. So here we go, they're all lining up on the grid. Look forward to this first race, first social race of the new game. Yeah, I'm loving the new display graphics as well. It looks good, so that's all the strategy. Right, we have got the green flag waving. He's going to get the race start. So the race director will get the race start in a second. So here we go. One, two, three, four, lights, two, four, three, four. five lights. No! And we're on the way. And they've all got a good get away. Legends Dallas. gets a great Dallas. start, but then Pigeon Munch is on the inside. Pigeon Munch is on the inside in a turn one. They're going to go through to a two side by side. Side by side. Oh, beautiful. Pitch match is held out. He's taken the lead. Pitch match has gone in the lead. What a move. This Lexus making a move as well on Easton as well. He takes P3 off Easton. And William Easton has lost the place. There was cars everywhere. But We've got Osra in P5. Grunt is up to P6. Peanut and Grunt have to face them for eight. Vettel's already up to P10! Oh, Vettel, wow. you're so Kuchow, strong! Kuchow, oh, Kuchow P10. He's down to P11! Vettel's still back with everybody, so we've now got... Kuchow has just gone past Vettel, oh, Vettel's gone down to the 13! There's a bit of a traffic jam coming up, oh no! Kuchow's been hit! 
The tail's been hit. Oh, that's unfortunate, that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate there for Kachal. Oh, so they are. Out. Many boys come out. He's going to put him dead right, last. Okay. I think he's got damage as well. That's unfortunate. Right, foot. So, classification after the first lap. DRS has now been in the what? After the third lap, sorry. Uh, Pigeon Bunch is in the lead by eight tenths over IGN Legend. Sinks Dyslexic also. What's going on with the graphics? Peanut's got a five second penalty for a severe collision. Didn't see who that was with. Yeah. Has the game just skipped a lap? Apparently Albon is in P1. But he's been in the pits for hard tyres. See, this is one of the multiplayer glitches they've got to fix. Oh, hang on. No, it's fixed itself by the looks it's of it. It's fixed itself. Right, here we go. Yeah, so that one's the last, right. Right, OK. Right, so what happened there, I do not know. So Pigeon Munch there has just set the fastest lap of 119.5. So classification after lap three. Three, three. seconds clear. Classification after lap three is Mr. Pidgemunch is leading IGN Legends by 1.3 seconds. Sync Dyslexic, though, is 2.4 seconds behind Legends. Easton sitting in fourth, four seconds behind Dyslexic. Brundle comfortably there in P5. He's got, um... Oh, no. I didn't change it to leader. Oh, game. You're broken already. Right, OK. <laughs> Let's start that one again, shall we? Okay, so Pigeon Munch leads IGN Legends by 1.5 seconds. Dyslexic, though, is right behind uh, Legends, so he is going to be hungry to take that position in the DRS zone as well. Easton looks oh, like Brundle's he's going to be a little under pressure Brundle. from Brundle there. And Brundle living up to reputation by the looks of it by extending track limits. We've got a good battle here between Kachow and Cosby Cameron. Ooh, let's have a look here. And the 13th. So they come out of turn 12 and turn 13 here. I think Kachow being on the softer tyres. It's a given down the straight here. Oh! Yeah. Cosby Cameron got a bit of a slide on coming out of the final turn there. Yeah, he's going to use the overtake there, open his DRS. Front line speed! Here we go. Cosmic Cameron's holding there, though. He's holding him. Oh, Kachow around the outside. What a move in a what turn a two. What a move. Right then, that is a great pass there from Kachow over really good Cosmic pass. Cameron. What a pass so that he was. Oh, Sim Racing's yeah. been off the track, I think, as well. Also, been three seconds home penalty there. Okay, we have got... Uh, this Lexus coming back at IGN Legends here, quite quickly. I think we could be a change for yeah. second place here. Yeah, I think you're right there, Carl, as well. Yeah. Patel has left the session. Oh, is McDonald's Wi-Fi is playing up again? Right, okay, so now on board the Ferrari the fastest lap of the race. Lexic. He's using his overtake button there to catch up with the McLaren Legends there, but he does look Don't like know if he's quite got enough. going to make it through. No. He's going to have to... Uh, a... Oh, no. Yeah, send Patel a link up, uh, invite, please. His game's dashboarded. Okay there, so Dyslexic is chasing down IGN Legends. It looks like Dyslexic's got the pace around the twisty, si twisty side of the track, but it does look like the Renault power of that McLaren at the moment is holding up that Ferrari. Yeah, I've sent that invite to Patel, so hopefully he'll be able to come back. Yep, he's back in. 
Good. East and yeah, there it's just ahead of Moronics. Oh, oh, IGN Legends has gone a little bit wide there at turn 10. Carl, are you able to position your mic slightly away from your mouth a bit? Yeah, that is, mate, yeah. I've got it a, a little bit higher yeah. up, too. So. Okay. It's done a bit better. Uh, I will wait for feedback now. It just come through on my WhatsApp, so we'll wait and see what um, the person who reported that said. Right, okay, so Dys Sync Dyslexic doesn't seem to be able to get past the McLaren at the moment, so... Lovely shot there of the helicopter cam as Dyslexic is chasing down Sync um, IGN Legends as well. Vision seems to be checking out at the front. Certainly put a good gap between himself and uh, IGN Legends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pigeon Munch has just got a three second time penalty though. That could play a massive effect into it. Yeah, we seem to have a glitch on the on the game as well, mate. It's not telling us the distance between Pigeon Munch, Legends, yeah, Dyslexic, the Eastern and Oza. It's not giving us the uh, intervals there. It's a bit disappointing. Yeah, it is a bit disappointing, but then when games do come out, they do have their problems, and until they get real tested in... Yeah, Patronus has just put bye-bye Pigeon, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, he disappeared up the front for now. It'll be interesting to see if he can maintain that. Difference on the on but the time. But made the move over over legends. legends. Yep. What a move! In turn one, turn two, come around turn three now. Yeah, brilliant move. I think he's been eyeing that one up for the last two or three laps. Yeah. So Peter Munch is 2.8 seconds, 2.9 seconds ahead of Dyslexic in second place now. Right, now the interesting thing is, from the pace that we saw that um, Dyslexic had last season, will he Can be able catch to Pigeon Munch, yeah. Yeah. There's been a lot of time penalties I'm seeing thrown out up on the screen there. Yeah. Dyslexic, Dyslexic was a free second time penalty. Time penalty. No, it's not what he needed for his race. No. So, I can hear in your background, it looks like... Oh, Dyslexic! Oh no! It's gone round. What happened there? Oh dear! I just see the back end go round as I was then flicking on to someone else. I think he might have touched the ground. Oh, Oz is all out of shape coming out of turn the final corner. He's chasing Kachow down the main straight. He's got the DRS open. He's got the take. He's going for it. You mean he's chasing Eastern? Chase Eastern, sorry, yeah, wrong person. <laughs> Had a crofty moment there, sorry everybody. <laughs> hey, it happens to us all. I get the cars mixed up. I think I said last Some game. Some 21 has left the session. Oh dear. I don't know what happened there. It's DNF. No damage should not be off, Revstar. Right, okay, so it is the closest battle at the moment between Ozza and Eastern, however, in oh, the midfield for Tell. Safety car. Oh, oh. Right, people, will they... Why so will who's had it off? Ah, oh, oh. Snod from the McLaren Snod, is gone. Snod. Is Pigeon Munch or anyone else going to take a, a gamble on the hearts here? Yeah, Pigeon Munch is coming in. Yeah. Pretty much is going for it. Oh, Legends is in as well. What's Easton going to do? Is Easton going to take track position? Or is he going to stay? No. Easton's in as well. Oz is in. Runt's coming in. I reckon Dyslexic will probably come in as well. Yeah, oh, Dyslexic's in. Maniac's Jake's in. Been disqualified from the session for ignoring yellow flag. Moronix is in. Rhombus is in. Stretch's in. Vettel's in. 
Brindy's probably going to come in as well. Let's let's be honest. If they don't come in, if anyone stayed out now, it'd be a little bit foolish, really. I mean, you don't know obviously what what uh, strategy people are running, but uh, it makes sense to put the hards on and go to the end now, really. Oh, Albon's been disqualified, ignoring yellow flags. Oh no! You've got to take care of these yellow flags, guys. You've got to look at that data. Look at that delta time on your your screen that should tell you how fast you're allowed to go. And and don't cut the corners behind the safety car because the penalisation is so heavy. Speeding the pit lane there from Peanut. Oh no. I suppose the trouble is everyone's getting used to the new features on the new game. So you you've got to expect a few little mishaps maybe in the first social yeah. race. Um, oh, Brundle, I don't think Brundle came in at the pits, AJ. Well, he's only on two lap old medium, so he's Right, he okay, so he's in been earlier. in previously, right, okay. Yeah. So he is in, uh, so he's going to have the tyre advantage at the start, but, but he gonna probably will have to, <laughs> he, he's going to have to stop again. I don't know, maybe, what's that, 20... Kachow's opted for the mediums. I reckon you could do that 24 laps on the mediums. I reckon that's feasible if you look after the tyres. The hards are probably the better option, although we'll see what happens. Uh, Jakey's left the session as well. Yeah, yellow's catching people out. Rips the, yeah, for sure. Oh, Jake got told to overtake the safety car and then gets disqualified. Oh no! Oh, that's that's really disappointing. So that's another glitch we've got a problem with then. Yeah. Shame that is real shame. Well, right, so after that, that's got shook out. We've got Pigeon Munch in P1, Oji Legends in P2, Easton P3, Grunt P4, Brundle P5. Oz P6, Dyslexic P7 after that little spin, uh, Maniac P8, Stretch P9, Vettel P10, Bombus P11, Veronix P12, Brindy in 13th, Kachow 14th, Cosmic Cameron 15th, oh he's had a little off behind the safety car there, <laughs> and Peanut in P16. Right. Peanut has now managed to catch up the rest of the field. Will the safety car come in this lap or will we be for another lap of the safety car? And no, I have not been writing these down, Revster, because I'm doing the control pad at the same time. But now that you mention it, I will get the pad out. Safety car is coming in this lap, AJ, right? Okay. Oof. So Pigeon Marks is now going to take over the field. Give the safety car a chance to get away, get out of harm's way. Trying to warm up them hard tyres nicely. Audience clapping again, yep. Yeah. Nice to see. Yeah. So, when is Pigeon Munch going to decide to drop the ball? Right, is he going to bolt at the chicane after the chest after the chicane? Do you reckon? I reckon that's going to be after the chicane, yeah. I reckon he's going to go through here and then he's going to hit it. Yep, yeah, there he goes. A little bit of a slip out of the final corner, but he's got yeah, eight tenths of a second. Cold so he's got remember, enough. and no DRS. An advantage. Oh, yellow flag is set to free. What's happened there? Stretch has been round in the final chicane. So Pigeon Munch has got a good restart there. Ahead of IGN Legends at Easton. It's nice We've to see. We've got Brundle all over the rev. back of Gruntastrophe. No, nice. Um, just uh, also, guys, it's nice to see that the um, game glitch of the road hitting the rev limit is still there from the previous game. Yep, but Brundle is all over the back of um, Gruntastri there on the medium tyres. He should be able to make quick work Pigeon of this Munch one. Pigeon Munch is now 1.3 seconds clear already. Wow. We've not, even, we've not even done a lap. We've not even done one lap. 
We've done three quarters of a lap since the safety car came in. He's 1.3 seconds clear. That is absolutely astonishing pace. Really, Eastern, really astonishing pace. Easton seems to be keeping legends honest though. It'd be good if he can stay up there. Yeah. Is Brundle going to be quick out of this last chicane on the medium tyres? Oh, he got a little bit of a little bit of snap on. Coming yeah, out of a little chicane. bit of sliding there. He's not going to be able to do it because he's got no DRS. No DRS, no. But he's all over tape, but he has got dyslexic chasing right behind him as well. Oh, yeah, he's got a this is penalty on oh, no, speed in the pit lane. Tired from the session by the looks of it. Yeah. Absolutely astonishing pace from these guys. Pigeon Munch is flying at the moment on them hard tyres. 1.4 seconds. Has settled down a little bit over this lap. I think he's just used as much as he can out of the tyres for the first lap and now he's just, just settled into a rhythm. He's got that one second gap, so Legends isn't in the DRS. He's, he's got that gap. I think he's just going to settle into a nice pace now. Mm. But his Legends coming back at him has gone down at 1.2 oh, seconds. Oh, dyslexic. He's really eyeing up Rundle and he's also got Ozzy right behind him as well. We have, this is going to be an epic overtake if it happens, when it happens. Dyslexic just biding his time though as he comes Oh, Brundle's on it! Brundle's the yellow curve! That's the yellow curve, that's nearly pushed him and brought it out. Dyslexic's going to have a run yes, on him here, no. surely. He's not going to get Darius down oh, this straight well. though. Pit window's open apparently on the screen there. But the trouble is, because yep. the safety car everyone's already been in. So it's not really going to give anyone any benefit now. It's, it's, a bit too late for that. So Dyslexic's past Brundle. Oh, Brundle's now got Oz all over the back of him. Is Oz going to make a move into turn four? No, he's just staying behind there. So he's just biding his time. Up the hill as we go into turn five. Oh, hang on. Battle of the back here. Cosmic Cameron and Stretch. Having a good little fight at the back, are they? Right, okay. I'm just going to stay on board of Ozzer and Brundle here at the moment just to see if he can get the move done. He's going to get DRS from turn 9 down into turn 10, but he's, I don't think he's close enough to make the move. DRS for Brundle Windy as well. Boy's got a three second penalty as well. Not even halfway yet, too much has happened. No, this is absolutely epic. We're yet to get halfway epic. through the race and so much has already happened. Oh! Whoa! Just to the oh! Oh! oh, I don't want to save that. Don't want to not hit the wall there. That was very, oh, very fortunate. Oh, Cosmic Cameron's round. Cosmic Cameron's round, just on the final corner. Had a spin, it was a spin or maybe contact with stretch. I wasn't on board to see. Um, Pigeon Munch seems to be maintaining that gap between sort of 1.3 and 1.4 seconds to IG and Legends. Easton's just dropped back slightly to two seconds. Vettel's just overtaken Brundle. Oh, Vettel, beautiful move. So, oh, Brundle's got a three second time penalty. So is Vettel now going to chase after Dyslexic? Can he chase after Dyslexic? This is going to be an interesting little battle if it develops. But Dyslexic yeah. is getting very close to Grunt as well, so this could be the next battle. Grunt is very close to Easton, but has sort of been that distance since they really started, really. Yeah. Just bear with me, guys. I am just writing notes of the lectures as well, so that we can make notes of them to see what happens in the next updates. Patel, you've got some straight line speed. So fast. <laughs> so fast down that straight. Right, okay, so have we got any battles out there? So Brundle's now been overtaken by Rhombus as well. I feel 
Rodders just having a bit of a difficult moment in the base here. He's just he's just going backwards a little bit. He just needs to reset himself and just get back into a rhythm on the medium Get back into tires. a rhythm. Yeah. Grant there has just got a three-second time penalty. He's sitting well, currently sitting in P4 there, but he has got dyslexic right coming up to his gearbox now. Two temps behind. Ozzy seems to have set himself after that little moment in that final turn as well, so that's good. Oh, Peanut's gone. Oh no. Virtual safety car. Virtual safety car. Uh, Cosmo Cameron's been at the pits for some more tyres. Perhaps he's had enough of them hards. Pigeon Munch has just taken it all in his stride at the front. Yep. Brando's the thing is, with this pits. virtual safety car, you've got to be ready. As soon as that stage wheel will be going green, you, if you've got enough time, Get that accelerator and just go for it because if you dawdle and the person behind you is on the ball, you can lose two or three positions just by not being not not paying attention on to that restart. Yeah. That's just okay, a over. Racing again. So we're gone. That's exactly what I'm talking about on the restart. Pigeon Munch has managed to pull another half a second on IGN Legends. That's 1.5. That's now two seconds after the restart. You've, you've got to be on the yeah. ball as soon as that goes green. You've got to hit it. Ooh, oh, IGN Legends, three seconds Nice battle resume for these three guys, for battle for third between Easton, Grunt and Dyslexic. If, I think if anything actually Easton's maybe managed to pull out a little bit of time here on Grunt. And Dyslexic's go for the move! Yeah, Dyslexic's he's passed done it. Down the straight. Gives a little wiggle yeah. as he goes past him. Brilliant, yeah. Shake the arse of it, yeah, lovely, very nice. So Grunt's got a good 1.8 seconds between him and Vettel. Can he can he just settle into that rhythm as well? He's lost that place, but just keep that uh, keep it going. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So it's been interesting. We've got two disqualifications from the race, three DNFs. Yeah. Also, Brindy Brindy's got another penalty. Yeah. Oh, Cosmic Cameron's right in the way here. You need to get out of the way, Cosmic. Sorry, I knew you didn't want to do it. But you've got to get out of the way of IGN Legends here. Oh! He did, but that was, oh, that was close. Sort of swerved right across the front of Legends there. That was a little bit naughty. No way. Pigeon Munch sets another fastest lap with 118.4. Yeah, but Dyslexic's flying with 118.3. He's chasing down Easton. Dyslexic's right after Easton. Third place. Oh, Moronix is out. Oh, no. Another virtual safety car. Well, at least this game has actually given us the safety cars and the virtual safety cars, whereas in the last game you could crash and be in the middle of the track and that wouldn't do nothing about it. So, that's well, maybe a... It in the end. Yeah, but that was one of the very last updates, wasn't it? Yeah, it took them a while, didn't it? Because for a while we had to run the league with no safety car, because it was just completely broken. Oh, Maniac said his overtake button was stuck on, couldn't turn it off. Yeah. That's a shame. I tried to reset my controls during a safety car, but the game wasn't having any of it. Yeah, Grunt's up there. Yeah, yeah doing well. Play. He's playing. He's doing very well. Remember, guys, you've got to be on it for when this light goes green. You've got to be Ooh. able to press that button. Oh, good shout, George. 
That's what I'm saying. You've got to be so careful on that restart and, and corners under the safety car. You've got to be so careful. Oh, Cosmic Cameron's going to just got out of the way of Vettel in the worst place possible. Really cost him a lot of time there. He's completely got just just sort of got it wrong. Just got out of the way at the wrong point completely. Yeah, Chow's coming in for his drive dyslexic. through. Dyslexic though, he definitely he's, he's sizing up um Yeah, dyslexic's after he's in for third place. He is sizing him up. I think all the cars sound so realistic this year, especially when you ride on board. The the downshift sounds and the the grumble as you're off throttle is absolutely fantastic. It's almost like reminiscent mm. of the sort of 2011, 2012 Red Bull days with the blown floor and the off throttle uh, gases. And well, another virtual diffuser. safety car. What has happened? What's here happened to now? This? Doesn't Can't look see like that anybody's got any damage. Unless it's just a glitch. Can't see that anybody's been off or anybody's got any damage. Cosmic Cameron, I'd, I'd say, just needs to work on his on his racecraft a little bit, just for getting out of the way of people when they're... He's been yeah. unfortunate, don't get me wrong, he has been unfortunate with, oh, with events in the, the race. Pit, but in the pit. Dyslexic, we're coming into the pits again. Drivers are coming back into the pits. So we've got Dyslexic and Grunt in the pits. Oh! Oji and Legends have spun on the main straight! No! It's yeah. been down to ninth! And Brundle's going to see that car and he's going to have some of that. Oh, here we go! Is Grunt and Dyslexic going to get over front of Brundle? Just! But Brundle's tyres are up to temperature. Oh, Grunt's, Grunt's oh, gone round in front oh, of Grunt! Just, he's gone round in front of Brundle! No! That kerb! Oh, that kerb! No! So still biting people, even in this game! Oh, Grunt, that's, that's hard luck. He was having a fantastic race there. That's really hard yeah. luck. Another VSC. <laughs> yeah, that'd be for Grunt spin. That'd be handy if he can get it around before it goes green. If he can get the pitch before it goes green, he could be... Oh man, that was so unfortunate. Just come out of the pits and just just got on that curb on the exit turn two and that was it. But Pigeon Munch is coming in. Yeah, it's into the pits. I wonder if he's going to go for a set of softs here or mediums. I reckon probably a set of softs to the end. Looks like mediums. Oh, he's going mediums to the end, yep. Yeah. So Easton's going to go through and take the lead here, I believe. And we've now gone green. Oh, legends. Oh, halfway down the straight, we've gone green. Mr. Pigeon Munch is going to have all the hard work to do. So we've got Easton first and Vettel in second. Oh. Unless he felt his cars were going off, I feel like he's made a bit of a, an error there. He's back Maybe. in fifth. I know he's going to Oh, Dyslexic's out. Dyslexic's gone. Oh, no. In the yeah, he's gone, he's left the session. So we've uh, got a yellow flag, oh, we're back to green. Yellow flag, sector one, I don't really know what's happening there. Right, Grunt's coming into the pits for a change of nose and tyres. So Easton is P1. With Vettel P2, yeah. 1.5 behind. Yeah. So, will these guys go to the end, or will they come in for another set of tyres? I think they're going to have to now. I think they've missed that point. Because Pigeon Munch has been in. I think if they come in now, they're going to lose their track position. I think they're going to have to make this work on hard tyres. Yeah, but already look at um, Pigeon Munch. Brindy Boy's just gone in, so that's one position out of the way for um, Pigeon Munch. Yep. And he's going to have the advantage of DRS down the start finish straight as well. So that will work into his advantage on catching Ozza. So he, like you say, he has got all the work to do. The Delta's not working under VSE, apparently. Junior's put in the chat, AJ. Yeah, so it could I've be what's catching a load of people noted. out then. 
So that could be what's catching people out on the restart. Yeah. Could be what's catching so many people out to get disqualified under the, the safety car as well. Uh huh, uh huh. Shame, well, we've got two is. DSQs, haven't we? All the rest are DNFs. Yeah. So, out of 20 starters, we have got 11 drivers left. So, Easton's managing the gap to Vettel. Pigeon Munch has already chopped down the gap between, uh, to um, Oz to 1.8 seconds. He is going to be a man on a mission to get that P1 back. Yeah. It's so unfortunate for him that, that, that we went green as he was halfway down the pits. 1.3 3 second time penalty there it's not going to help his bid there at all I think it's a bit of frustration there just coming out he's got under a second though yeah 9 tenths Patel's gained a little bit of time in Easton there at the front. It was 1.7, has come down 1.5, 1.6. Yeah. Is he going to do it? Yeah, Rebs is just putting the chat, same as the first Austrian race, only 11 to finish. Yeah. That's ironic, isn't it? That is a little bit coincidental. <laughs> it does seem a little bit like something's going on there. Yeah, but the question is, will the rest of these 11 drivers take it to the end or will we get another retirement? Will someone I'd win it? Will someone lose so. it? But then Pigeon Munch, look at Pigeon Audrey Munch. Is he's going to do it. defending hard from Pigeon Munch here. But he's got no answer to that, I don't think. Oh, maybe he has. Oh, they're coming to turn one and turn two. I think Pigeon Munch has just got so much extra grip on them, them new medium tyres. Yeah, look at this. Thing. Yeah, he's going down the inside. And, oh, the he's move. going around the outside into turn four. Oh, this would be beautiful if you make this stick. Oh, around the outside of turn four into turn five. Oh, good clean race to between Whoa. the pair of them. Oh, and he's finally made it, made it a stick in turn six to seven. What a move. Yeah, it's brilliant drive between the pair of them there. Really fair. Um, yeah, really fair, really good racing. Brilliant. Brilliant. So the question now is how quick can he close down Vettel and Easton? Can he close Vettel's these guys down before the end of the race? Yeah, Vettel's, Vettel's closing Vettel's up on, on Easton. Come on, Vettel, down the front straight. Straight line Oh, did he just go a bit sideways there? A little bit steppy on the rear end there, but he's still, still got eight tenths. The DRS is open. I don't think he's going to make it happen at this first turn, but he's going to get very close. Super speed, Vettel. So strong. Super speed. <laughs> all right, all right. Right, okay, so he's not got a lot of ERS though, he's got 11% ERS, he is yep. hammering that overtake button a little bit, so um, that's another feature of this game as well that I really do like, you've got that overtake yep. button and it is so strong as well. But it's not like last the reason year, like so, But the reason why it's so strong, it eats the ERS, I've noticed. Yeah, it, it, it just destroys it, demolishes it, yeah. it. You use that down the whole straight and by the time you get to the end of the straight you've got nothing left. Yeah. But that, uh, yeah, I do like that. It's either medium or overtaking the race and just pure hot lap on your qualifier. And that's, that's a nice little feature. And like you say, with the DRS and overtake, is so powerful this year. The, the time gain is unbelievable. Mm. So it looks like Cosmic Cameron's going to do a little attempt for the fastest lap. He's just gone into the pits and slapped on a set of socks. Well, so. a little bit deep in the final chicane. That's just allowed he's to get away a little bit there. And also allowed Pigeon Munch to gain 1.2 seconds. Well, Patel's gaining very quickly here. Don't think he's got enough for turn one. No, Easton's just managing to use his battery power very well by the looks of it to, 
to defend. Yeah, he's got a lot more um, batch power than what um, Vettel has as well. But it's Vettel is, is very, very close. The trouble is, how close? How quickly can he run this close? How long for before the tyres start to get a little bit affected by the uh, the wake of the car in front? I don't know if it's... And the engine overheating as well. Yeah, look, this is the thing. Is it as, is it as realistic as real life? Or are we, are we not quite at that point in the game yet? But Mattel's very close here. He could get quite badly affected by the turbulent wind in turn 9. Oh! Yeah, which he does. Just to keep it in the bounds of the track. Triple the DRS RS for Pigeon Munch, though. Down into turn 10. Pigeon Munch is right there with these guys. They've been so busy battling each other. They've, they've failed to notice Pigeon Munch has just sailed up behind them. Fastest sick for two as well. Could this be another fastest lap for Pigeon Munch here? We can have double, uh, double DRS down the main straight here. Where well, he's going to get a double hole punch for him down the slip, with the slipstream down the main straight. But so is the double going for it? Oh, the late move by Easton. Oh, it's a late move to defend by Easton there. Maybe too late really. Uh, but Vettel's through. There was a little twitch from both of them, from Vettel and Easton. And Peter Munch is going to be down the inside of turn four. Oh, what a move. Yeah, he's made it yeah. stick. He's made it stick. Oh, he's a little and bit wider than the exit there. Oh, no, Easton's coming back. back. Easton's coming back. It's a little bit wider than the exit there. Easton's trying to go underneath. But Pigeon's just got the tyres to hold him there. And now Pigeon Monk, surely Vettel's just going to be there for the taking. Surely he's going to have just nothing to defend against Pigeon Munch's sheer pace on the medium tyres. Yeah, this is going to be easy pickings now for Pigeon Munch. Surely it's, it's a given. Surely when he rocks up, Vettel's going to have nothing. To, to defend with on their newer tyres with the extra grip surely by the time he rolls up it's just going to be a sail past the way as he goes by surely Vettel's going to have nothing to defend here is he using, no, up, he's using the battery power that. Pigeon's going to duck around on the outside is he going to get moved down before turn one oh, they saw both side in turn one oh yes go on, Pigeon you've got it Pigeon Munch has done it yeah Pigeon Munch is through so it was the right thing to put under the VSC there. All right, he lost a bit of time, he lost track, lost track position, but well, them hard tyres starting to give him a bit of a problem, hence why he having to change them. So now he's got, he's got five laps to pull a gap. Yeah, he's got a three second penalty, but I think Patel's got a penalty as well. I would not. Carl, have a look for the penalty situation because I think he's got more than one. Right, okay, mate. Interesting to see. But no, that was an awesome move there from Pigeon Munch for, for that move for, for, the, for, the, for potentially the race victory, providing that nothing goes wrong. But Easton and Vettel and Ozza are all within one second of each other, so. So Pigeon Munch has got two penalties. Vettel has got no penalties. What? Easton has one penalty. Ozza Did has, I just hear you right? Ozza has four penalties. Oof. Rundle has two penalties. Rhombus has two penalties. Three penalties Rhombus has. Uh, Brindy has two penalties and a drive through. Stretch has got. He's had a drive through and a penalty. Three warnings. Runt is on one penalty, two penalty. Runt's had two penalties and a drive through. Chow is on one drive through. And Cosmic Cameron is on. One penalty. So Pigeon Munch really needs to open up that six second gap if he's going to finish ahead of Vettel here. I can't believe you just said that Vettel has got no penalties. Vettel has that got is... no penalties, no warnings, nothing at all.
absolutely I clean. demand a drugs test. I absolutely <laughs> demand a drugs test. <laughs> He's got an absolutely clean record here. Can he keep that clean? If he can, he could well inherit P1 from Pigeon here. Pigeon's really well, got not, to get the hand of that now. The Ferrari winning? That can't happen. Oh, Brundle's picked up another three seconds on the right there. Pigeon's really got to get the hammer down now. He's really got to open up that gap if he wants to win this race. He's got to open up six seconds. Well, he's got to find four more seconds. He's got 2.1 seconds already. Yes, thank you, Rebster, for the comments there. I hope um, it has been a good race session for you guys as well for the first race of the season. Yes, the game has got some glitches at the moment, but they can be fixed, and they will be fixed, no doubt, surely. Especially with, like, the lap delta or the delta going wrong for drivers and... Um, Duffer, yeah, the I hate them bloody... I hate them ads as well when you first load up Twitch. It drives me crazy, that does. Well, so I'm guys, with you on that one, mate. Is an, uh, there is an answer to that one. Subscribe to Twitch Prime. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you can get it for free. And that will remove the adverts for you. So, 2.5 seconds, two laps to go. Can Pigeon Munch pull the gap that he needs to pull? Or Eastern he... is gaining on Vettel here. Yeah. I think he's just had a few laps just to protect the tyres. And he's gaining, but Ozzer is very close. Oh, Ozzer's got another penalty. No. Ozzer's very close behind, uh, behind Eastern here. Oh, the camera and another just penalty there. Three seconds high penalty. Brundle and Rumba seem to be sort of having a race of their own. Seem to be sort of three seconds for 2.2, three seconds between them. They're just sort of having a race on their own at the moment. Um, but second, third and fourth are all very close on the track here. Very close. Easton's 1.1 behind Vettel and then there's three tenths back to uh, Oz in fourth. So, on a, oh, Oz has retired. Oh, what's happened there? No. Don't tell me he's had a failure or he's disconnected. He didn't say disconnected. Don't tell me he's had engine failure. Oh no. Oh, he's lost it at turn 10. It just turned off, mate. It just stopped and turned off. What that happened happen to you this time? Yeah, you can have an engine failure. It'll just be that instant. Wow. I just completely stopped to a game changer. round to a halt on him. I'd, I'd like to think he's had a problem rather than a rather than a, a, a connection problem or a connection issue. Oh, that's such a shame. He was really hunting Easton down there. Now. Mm, so we're so just we're back to break, we're back to Easton and Vettel. Then it's the closest thing really at the moment. But Vettel seems to just be maintaining that to over a second. Just nicely. I wonder if he just had a scruffy lap the lap before. And just... It'd be nice I'll to be see what happens to Ozzy. Yeah, I'd be interested to know what happened to Ozzy because, like, yeah. if that is true engine failure, like, completely just engine dead, that is a complete game changer. A complete game changer. Yeah, if you, if you, I've had it happen to me a couple of times in the in the my team season. You can just be driving along and all of a sudden Jeff come over the radio and says that you've got engine wear issues, you need to protect your engine and a lap later that can just literally bang, gone. No way. Yep. So it's 10 cars to finish this uh, race, so everyone looks like they want to achieve a point. Oh, I don't actually. Cosmic Cameron might still finish P11 though, because of the amount of time that he's behind. Two minutes and yep. six. Yep. We'll see two, that's so a lap and a half, two laps behind. Yeah, we're on the lap 33 now, final lap of the race. It doesn't look like that Pigeon Munch is going to be able to get the victory. It's going to have it snatched away from him. Vettel needs to just carry on doing what he's doing. No silliness or no lunges. He just needs to just be consistent, just carry on doing as he's doing. Keep that gap under six seconds and he's going to have a win here. Which I think, considering he's had no time penalties at all, I think more than deserves. Especially after he sort of disconnected and he got disqualified in qualifying. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I, th I think, to be honest with you, I think he really deserve a win. It's not not to take nothing away from Pigeon Munch, because he's been absolutely fantastic in this race. Absolutely yeah. blew the competition just away. It would have been interesting to see... So he crosses the line. ...if Dyslexic would have been able to keep up. But, uh, yeah, Ooh. well done, Pigeon. Mattel doesn't get... Mattel doesn't. Three tenths he's missed out on. Are you sure Vettel didn't have a penalty? I'm positive. Cosmic Cameron does get the last point. No, Vettel's completely clean. No penalties at all. Wow. Oh, it does look and it does look like engine failure is a real thing. Patronus has just asked us on what happened, and he just said his car just stopped dead. Yep. Yeah, that's what can happen. Oof. It can just just completely stop. Yeah. Big oof. Yeah, this is a. I think this is something that a lot of people wanted in the game uh, for this year, and as Codemasters have obviously listened, unless it's uh, unless it's a glitch or something they've got to fix with the game, but you can just completely grind to a halt. P8 there for Brum, P9 for Kachow. Nice session there, guys. Really, well, well really done, Pigeon. Nice well done, Vettel. Well done, Easton. Drive with the driver, driver of well. the day, well done, RSF1 Vettel. Brilliant Vettel, well done. Such a strong performance, Vettel. So strong. Like, Carl, would you like to invite um, the podium in for the chat, please? It is Vettel, yes, Easton will. and Pigeon. That is impressive. That is absolutely impressive. So that is the first social race over and done with, guys. So yes, you're right. Unless Pigeon Munch just pulled an amazing gap on his final on his final lap, it is absolutely unreal how if he has done it. Well done. So that's the information, guys. Well, that's the standings, guys. Pigeon Munch takes the win. Fatel second. Easton in third. Brundle in fourth. Rhombus in fifth. Brindy Boy in sixth, Stretch sorry in seventh, Kachow in eighth, Contastrophe in ninth, Cosmic Cameron picking up the last point there in tenth, and Pigeon Munch does get the fastest lap. Oz I can't invite Pigeon Munch or Easton for some reason, AJ. That won't let me get them in. Well, have you got Madders as friends? Yeah. I won't let me, um, that's not giving me the option to invite them to the party. I can invite them to a game, but it's not giving me the option to invite them to a party. Okay. Don't know if you got, you can see if you can get them guys in. Here, Here we go. go. I said the invite. <laughs> Thank you, Vettel. Oh, nice one, Vettel. Appreciate, right. Appreciate that. Right. Carl, I will take P3 and P1. You have to do P2? Yeah. Okay. Easton. P3 on the first online race. Well done. How was that race for you? How did it feel? You done well to come back to P3 though, Easton. That was a good drive. Easton, have you ticked the box? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> right, we'll start again, shall we? Easton, <laughs> P3 on the first race of the online series of racing series. Well, it's not the online series, first social race, first online broadcast, online broadcast of Iris F1 on F1 2020. Great race. How did it, how did it feel from your perspective? Uh, you look like you had some amazing pace out there. Uh, it was okay to be honest with you, struggled a bit with, on the hard tyres towards the end with the way I was getting on them, but managed to mm -hmm. sort of stick with Vettel who's just very quick now, and yeah, I'm happy yeah. I got PC out of that. 
Yeah, very well done as well. Um, uh, any feedback from your perspective for the game? Um, did you have any problems like glitches or anything like that? Well, I did get the sound glitch with you when, I, when we were going board with you. Um, obviously, it was hitting the rev limit all the time. No, bad. No issues at all, really. Okay, brilliant. Brilliant. Um, okay, Carl, over to you. Vettel, what can I say, mate? <laughs> A very strong way. So strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did brilliantly, mate. You know, to 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 spin at the start there and have your connection issues, and then to come back and finish P2. That was uh, that was a good way, good drive, mate. No penalties, even no warnings, no penalties. You know, that was a fantastic drive. How did uh, how did it feel? Well, I'm surprised it went back because when I disconnected, it was like P7, I think. And when I came yeah, back, yeah, you're it was a long P12. way down. Yeah, <laughs> it still ended up P2. Quite happy. Yeah, yeah, it's really well, mate. I asked Jeff on the that... last lap, you know the fast right hand, I asked Jeff if Pigeon got any penalties. But according yep. to Jeff he didn't have any. And that's why I was oh. weaving in the straight because I was happy about P2. <laughs> yep. Alright, so that's where you'd have lost the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't unlucky. know Pigeon had any unlucky. penalties until the end of the screen. Yeah, he had screen two, mate, up. yep. I didn't even know. <laughs> he, had, he had six <laughs> seconds over you, so if you'd have kept on going like normal rather than being your typical self and putting on the showboat, you'd have got a race victory. <laughs> I mean, my showing qualifying was pretty good. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's face it, you deserve to be disqualified from that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, how, right. how did it feel for you, Vitelli? Are you happy with the new game? Is there anything you feel I like can improve? I am. I think I found my pace at 2018 again. Yeah, that yeah, you do seem very fun. quick on this game, mate. Very quick. Yep. Mm. Very, very. Oh, good. Yeah, well done, mate. Well done on the P2. Thank Brilliant. You. Well, well, well. Over to the race winner, um, Mr. Pigeon Munch. Can you take off the jet engine off your Mercedes now, please? <laughs> it's just realistic performance. Realistic performance. <laughs> Car performance was from. equal. Car <laughs> performance was equal. You shot off in that race. Um, clearly, someone has gained a lot of pace in this game, in the new game. Um, fantastic drive as well, because like when um, you boxed in for your last set of tyres as well, um, and the VSC went green just as you like exited your pit garage and that lot, so everyone managed to get, well not everyone, you did lose a lot of paces, spaces from everyone going back up to full speed, but you just drove your heart out to take back P1. Tell us yeah. from your perspective, how did it feel? Um, obviously, I I'm assuming that you, you're in love, not in love with the game, but you like the game? I certainly like a new... Um driving well the characteristics to it i feel like the steering's a lot faster which helps the traction's easier brakes are easier so it allows me to mm -hmm. push a lot more so that, i guess that's where my, my pace has come from um i mean the game itself is pretty terrible and broken um i thought there was like a safety car glitch halfway through because <laughs> i didn't see anyone crashing and and there was just safety cars all the time yeah the VSC yeah the vsc came, came out, out a couple reason. of times didn't it for sort of no reason really yeah, so I thought, um, because to be honest, playing the game online with just like randoms is just crap at the moment. So I thought I'd put on the mediums and try and make a bit of fun of it. And it, it were in the end, and I mean, Vettel would have won if he knew um, I had ends. But there was the last few laps, I was just on the limit. I just couldn't push anymore. Yeah, but, uh, just one yeah you were on it, mate. I mean, it's just every time you restarted from the safety car, the VSC, you just seem to get it right every time. Uh, after that first ES VSC, you sort of gained half a second on IGN Legends just just by getting the restart right, just by paying attention, being on the ball. As soon as that light goes green, you just got to go, isn't you? Yeah, there's a trick. So, uh, um, Legends is usually good at it. So. Yeah, yeah, but that was uh, yeah, mate. You were you were very fast, very fast. <laughs> Yes. yes, very fast. Well, you are, well, you've definitely set pace out there, so you are definitely someone we'll be watching. 
Uh, congratulations uh, on the first uh, victory. So it's a social race, but it's a victory at the end of the day. It's a league victory. So congratulations on that one, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure to bring you the first race of the 2020 game for Racing Series F1. I am back tomorrow. We'll be back at Spain for another 20 drivers, hopefully, to have their first go on online racing in the league for 2020. Tomorrow I'm going to be joined by Grant Grantastrophe. Same time tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time. Please, guys, tune into it. It's been an absolute pleasure. From me and Carl, it's good night.